It was 46 seconds of fear and panic high over the Atlantic. An airliner carrying more than 100 people took a terrifying dive, passengers thrown against cabin walls. And what happened defies belief. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross on that story. We just had the most amazing turbulence. Yes. 14 passengers and two flight attendants were injured in the incident. I went flying. I hit my head. One passenger yes. recorded this video just after the plane made a sudden steep dive toward the Atlantic. This is part of the damage. Today, we learned the real story of what happened on that Air Canada flight to Europe. It wasn't turbulence at all. According to an official report, a pilot mistook the planet Venus for an aircraft heading its way and took evasive action. On that night in January of last year, Venus would have looked something like this from the cockpit. Bright light, which can be a planet like Venus, uh, can be very startling, and you can mistake it for an airplane. The pilot put the plane into its steep dive just after coming out of an hour and 15 minute nap and suffered what is known as sleep inertia, essentially still waking up as he made his crucial decisions. Canadian aviation rules allow such in-cockpit naps, although U.S. rules do not. A tired person performs roughly equivalent to being a drunk person. The Air Canada incident again underscores the important connection between pilot sleep, or lack of it, and air safety. After years of complaints about pilot fatigue, the Federal Aviation Administration last year did issue new, improved sleep requirements for American air carriers. It still has not addressed the problems of pilots who commute long distances to their bases, often spending the night, as we found in an ABC News investigation, in crew lounges or in so-called crash pads near the airport, where quality sleep can be elusive. You're not going to get uh, full uh, consolidated sleep uh, doing that. For many pilots, it remains true that the hardest part of the job can be staying awake. Ryan Ross, ABC News, Chicago.